Jonathan Martin, aviation director, flight instructor, and airframe and power plant mechanic. I have a passion for restoring and flying antique aircraft. Follow along to be part of my aviation journey. Today is about automatic, dependent, surveillance, broadcast. A, D, S, B. As of January 2nd, 2020, you are required to have an ADSB out receiver if you fly within Class A airspace within Class B airspace or underlying Class B airspace within the mode C veil, Class C airspace, Class E airspace above 10,000 feet. So a lot of places on this chart, you're required to have ADS-B out technology. When are you not required to have ADS-B? If your aircraft was ever originally certified without an engine driven, the key here is without an engine driven electrical system, you don't need to have it. Just like you don't need to have a transponder with mode C, altitude reporting right now, if you fly within those airspaces. But the key is, is if you have an engine driven electrical system, you are required to fly with an ADS-B out receiver on board as of January 2nd, 2020. Today we're going to look at the installation of a UAVionics Sky Beacon on a uh, wing of a 1946 Fairchild 24. Today is a big day. I'm headed down to the post office. I finally got word that a package has arrived from Uavionic. It's uh, the Sky Beacon that I'm going to be installing in the Fairchild to finally make it EDSB compliant. I've been doing a lot of installs for a lot of customers, making them compliant. Uh, but my airplane, unfortunately, has been uh, stuck in the hangar, and uh, it's the biggest lawn ornament right now um, because I can't fly because we're underneath the most sea veil of Philadelphia and I need to have ADS-B installed so I'm going to go down and pick it up we're going to get it installed I'm going to do a installation video on how to install the sky beacon in the Fairchild
part of the installation is to pull the aircraft outside to get a clear view of the sky so that GPS can link up with those satellites. Um, you want to bring along the box. Inside the box you have a card with the username and password that you're going to need to get into the app, uh, the Sky Beacon app on your iPad. Uh, we also have the Sunny Vionics Ramp Tester. Um, we do a lot of these installations being qualified in SARS here at New Garden Flying Field. So we utilize this ramp tester to make sure that the unit is going to work before it leaves the ground. So let's, uh, let's get to work. It's a little windy out here today, uh, but we're going to program this and then hopefully later on we're going to go flying. Until next time, blue skies, tailwinds, and I'll see you in the pattern.